Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and quick little review on this Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I've seen a lot of reviews recently on YouTube. A lot of people are raving about this, so I really wanted to know for myself if it works really well. I have very thick, coarse, very dry hair. It's also long, so it takes a really, really long time for me to blow dry it. I have been using this Conair 1875 styler. I was absolutely a huge fan of this for the longest time. Very powerful blow dryer, which comes with a couple of different attachments. I think actually three attachments. My problem is that when I'm drying my hair with this, I can't just rely on this to be enough anymore. My hair's so thick and so long and it's such a hassle. And this keeps plopping off while I'm drying my hair. And then also I use it with round brushes of varying sizes. So really this has been pointless for me. Now Nowadays, when I use it, I have to use it with this giant round brush, it's very large, just to work through the problem of drying my hair in a timely manner because it just wasn't cutting it anymore. So that's why I'm really excited about this Revlon product. I bought it on Ulta.com, by the way. I believe I spent $60. Let's get into it. I'm going to uh, start drying my hair. I'll show you how my hair is, you know, right now, actually. I took a shower about 40 minutes ago. Sometimes I'll leave my hair up for hours before drying it. This is where we're at. It's quite wavy, I would say. And I'm gonna separate my hair. We're gonna get this blow dryer out and we are gonna see if it works. All right, let's do this. The only thing I wanna share with you guys before we get into uh, drying the hair is that on the very bottom, there's a little area where it's you can turn it off and otherwise there's a high, low, and cool setting and that's about it. I just dried this part of my hair as you can tell and I only want to mention one thing I have not exactly a complaint about but I just want to let you guys know. It was interesting because if you have a shoulder problem of any kind, bursitis, thoracic outlet, this is going to cause you some problems using this. It's not that it's heavy, it's just I have some shoulder issues and uh, it's kind of messing with my shoulder a bit. That's just one thing. The only other thing that I really wanted to mention is this area of my hair that's close to the hairline, it's kind of hard to get that area dry. So on me, it's kind of like wavy or crimpy and I'm trying, I was trying to work with this so that I could get it dry properly and it seems like so you turn it on if you could blast it on the high level, I know it's not great to use high heat, but it seems like that might be the only way to get that part closest to the hairline uh, completely dry for me anyway. I'm not sure if anybody else has mentioned that as an issue, but besides that, it's been really easy to use so far. I like just brushing my hair and having it dry it. It feels nice, feels good on the scalp. So far, so good. It didn't take too long to dry this much, but my hair is very long. Like I said, in course, I'm gonna take some more hair down and continue drying it and let you guys know how it goes.
so I only have this little weird little thing left to do for my hair and I just want to share my experience so far. I do like the product. I like this type of blow dryer. The weird thing is, okay, my hair is just so thick right now. I don't know what's going on. For somebody who has really thick long hair, it's going to be difficult no matter what and it's going to be time consuming no matter which way you blow dry your hair. So the thing is that's kind of weird is it still feels damp up here. And if I don't dry it completely, it is going to start getting frizzy. So I really need to blast it and dry it. My only other negative, I would say, is on the blow dryer itself. The settings, like I said, are down here. Off, cool, low, and high. And you just... Wow. Sorry. You just turn this and it'll change the settings. That's actually not very convenient. I understand they don't want to obstruct your hand being here but it's really weird because when I'm trying to dry my hair I need to change the settings a lot to blast the heat up here and I can't tell what setting I'm putting it on half the time because it's you're holding this in all different directions I know that's just like a stupid first world problem but I just wanted to point that out if it was here and you push up for high down for low or cool it would have been easier but oh well that's fine my hair is looking really nice. It's just, I'm getting, a, I feel like I'm getting a workout and like I'm sweating a little. By the way, I was using this mostly on low, but I had to turn it on high near the scalp repeatedly to get it really dry. And it's important if you want your hair really straight to get that top part dry. I do plan on getting rid of my other blow dryer because I just want to have one product that I can use when I want to like blow dry my hair really nice and straight. But so far my hair looks very thick. Uh, I think this is giving it body and a recommendation is just dry it in all different directions because that will give you a lot of body. For example, go this way. This really helps. Up and over and then down this way. Just all different directions to get all of the everything dry and smooth. That's what I've got for you so far. I'm going to finish it up finally and then show you how it looks afterwards. Okay guys, so I am finally done blow drying my hair and this is how it's turned out, okay? It actually is very full and bodied. I think it's a little bit like frizzy little flyaways. My hair feels really, really nice. It doesn't usually feel this nice. It usually feels a bit crunchy on the bottom, hard to run my hands through. So this is pretty impressive, I mean. And then on the bottom, because of the way I dried it, it is kind of going under. And I like how that looks right now. My hair looks thicker than it is. Like I said, really full of body. I think it looks a lot better than it normally looks. And it looks quite healthy, especially over here. This is the thicker area if I want it to look better. I didn't want to use too many products because I don't want that to affect how it looks right now. I've already told you guys, you know, the downsides of it. I don't think it saved me any time at all whatsoever. I felt a little bit hot and sweaty like I was getting a workout, which is totally not uncommon. Half the time I'm there like looking crazy, drying my hair, I'm getting hot flashes, you know. That's normal for me anyway, so that has nothing to do with this. It really did genuinely make my hair look way nicer than it normally looks. There is a bit of hair stuck in here. There's a couple other things I didn't mention that were positive about this. First, I mean, obviously it, you can do away with using multiple tools when drying your hair. That's wonderful because I am used to using that giant round brush and this other brush. Just so many things so I can pull my hair as tight as possible because it takes me so long to blow dry my hair. This eliminates all of that and that's a good thing. There's one part that I really like about this. It's this part here. It's a perfect place to put your hand. It may seem weird, but it's useful to hold on to this so you can help roll your hair through the thing however you want to. Just be careful because don't uh, move your fingers away from this, you know, like up into the brush because you'll burn yourself because it does get quite hot. This is pretty powerful. And I like that there's multiple settings. I already mentioned I don't love where the settings are located, but 
can't have it all. So overall, I honestly really love how my hair looks. I'm really happy with the purchase so far. I've only used it once, so I can update you guys if I change my mind on it. I will, I guess, refrain from doing away with my other blow dryer for now, but this one is an all-in-one tool, which is what I would prefer to have. I don't have a lot of extra space for other things laying around, so... And this made my hair look way, way, way nicer than the other one makes my hair look. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I would love to help. Mm -hmm.